I am doing a little overview of my video that I'm going to show you from when I was having trouble coming into this one doc. So what happened was I was, um, Betty, Ron were on their boat. I was coming in behind them. We were coming into a dock that did not have, as they said in their text, quote unquote, we do not have a dick master. <laughs> so there was no dick master or dock master at this place to help us to catch our lines. Neither of us have ever come into a dock like this. The wind was blowing, the current was going, the whole nine yards. So Betty and Ron, I tried to, they put, were putting me into a slip. Well, coming into the slip, I was going with the wind and the current, which is not the way you dock a boat or you land a plane. So that wasn't working, so I aborted that. Betty and Ron swung around and they came into a dock appropriately. It was a face dock into the wind, into the current, and Betty was able to snag a piling midship, which is incredible, great. So she got in there. So now I'm out in the little harbor trying to maneuver to come into their dock as well because I can't go into a slip. And there's no dick master to help us. So I'm shifting my gear shift, my little gear shift here. And all of a sudden things go kablooey. I can only, when I go in forward, it goes in reverse. So I was up a creek and I knew exactly what had happened. The linkage had slipped under that um, mechanism. So I had to quickly uh, try to get the anchor down. And I have a windlass put in the boat. A windlass is something that I can automatically lower the anchor from inside the boat. So I hit the switch and the anchor is not going out. So I know I have to run out there, pull the anchor out, and then I have switches up by the anchor to help me. But it was all, I had to do it so quickly because I was drifting down on a bridge and a marshland, and there was a pirate ship on one side of me, which I didn't get a picture of. But, I mean, all this stuff was happening, and I had to act quickly, and I was so shaken by the whole thing. But it, I did it. I got the anchor down, and it held, which was amazing. So I'm gonna show you the video and we'll go from there. All right. Uh, oh, and let me say once again the saying, if you haven't heard it, some days you watch the show, some days you are the show. And this day I was the show and I hate being the show. Ugh. Okay, for me, this is a harrowing scene. I was coming into a town called Manio, spelled Man Mateo, but I guess the T is silent, and I was coming up to the dock and lost my steering, and it's blowing like stink, um, and so I went to drop my anchor. It wasn't coming out, so I ran up because there's a bridge. And I was afraid I was going to go into the bridge. Here's the bridge right behind me. Um, and there's the marina right there. And there's the marshland that I'm practically in. So I ran up to the controls here on the windlass. And you can push that and it sends out the line. So I had to just yank the, the anchor and get that going. So I called the Tobo US and now I'm waiting for them. It's just blowing so hard. 
I'm afraid my anchor could drag, but so far it seems to be holding. It just makes me nervous because I only have about, gosh, maybe 40 feet out. That's not very much, but I didn't want to go back into that marshland there because that's probably real shallow and I don't want to get stuck there. So what it is is a linkage problem, I believe. I had this problem back in Port St. Lucie, which we thought we fixed. It was fixed for like three months, but then something happened. So I'm waiting now. More to come. As you can see by that video, we had lots of help getting back into the dock. Topo US was quite successful and it was a happy ending. No drifting in, right? No, no drifting onto any bridge or marshes. All was well, right Tachi? Oh yes, mm, we're so happy. Oh, white chinny chin chin. So here we are, safe at the dock, carefree. Can't ask for more. Baby, sail away with you. Want to sail away with you. Down the beach, out past the free where the sunset greets the moon. There's only room for two.